Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the Arca series here at USA. One of my favorite tracks on iRacing altogether just because it's where I got my first win. I've always enjoyed this track. It's been a, a lot of fun to me, but we're car number six here somehow in the first split of the week. Everything's like an hour before than normal, so I don't know if that's why people are missing it because they thought it would still the hour later. Not 100% sure, but with the time change, it changed everything an hour up. But we're car six here. We didn't have a super fast practice time, but kind of what I've been running around anyways is like a mid four. But there's 21 cars here. No cautions, 50 laps. So hopefully we can uh, survive this race and just have a nice run. They're already down in the 21 threes for their lap times. This Aiden, Justin, Larry, they're all super fast all the time. It's crazy. Gavin's ran a 480 so far. So that's going to be our marker to try to beat. But this thing chips out on the straightaway so bad. It's crazy. Right, right. I wish the gearing was a little bit more in it so you didn't chip out as bad. But trying to get into these corners, just wrapping right on the bottom and just keeping throttle and trying not to keep too sideways. On exits, it's not too bad at this track, I feel like. Not as bad as normal. It's worse on the entry to me. So I've moved my brakes up to like 70 to 72, somewhere around there, whatever I feel comfortable with at the time with a 14 to one steering ratio. But that's a 567. We need to pick it up on the second lap a little bit, which you can do even though you didn't get a run into the lap because you are like maxed out on the straightaway anyways at a point. Trying to dive it a little harder into these corners. Qualifying further back is not a good thing here by any means. It might be a little bit faster of a lap. We'll see, 441, let's go. That put us eighth so far or seventh actually, nice. I'm happy about that. We beat Gavin there at least, so that's nice. They're down into the twos though, that's absolutely crazy. Cannot believe that, but we had a decent qualifying time there. Gavin's gonna be starting straight behind us currently. So we're gonna be seventh. He's gonna be ninth right now, unless some people uh, break us up. But uh, we're always locked at the hip. And then we got Joe in here, we got Kramer in here. Hoffman out qualified us. We're gonna be right behind him so, so far. Larry, Justin, Colton, Aiden, a lot of people we already raced with anyways, so. It's gonna be a fun one. We just fell to eighth though. I do not wanna be on the outside, damn it, Barry. But uh, this is going to be a interesting race. Hopefully, we don't end up in an early wreck. All right, we're getting ready to roll off here. We stayed in eighth, which is unfortunate. Gavin's straight behind us in tenth. We're straight uh, behind Hoffman, like I thought. But uh, we got Kramer right next to us. So we'll see how we can do. Hopefully, we can get a decent enough start either in front of Kramer or behind him to where we can jump down really fast. But the thing is, if there's a gap behind me on the bottom, Gavin's probably gonna get in it real fast, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we can try to beat out Gavin. I love short track racing. I remember at Lanier earlier in the year, is it either earlier in the year or last season? I can't remember. But um, we ran really good there and got like a top five run, I think. So I really enjoy short track racing a lot and we usually do decent, so hopefully this will be another okay one for us. We are car six as well, which what are we going to do about that? That's a rough one. We are still like only just under 3,800 I rating. So it's not like we're super high. I really think the time change might've screwed up some people that normally run this. So that's why we're a higher car number. I feel like, cause some people either sti are sticking with the other time slot like an hour later, but uh, I definitely still want to try to get the first split in. Cause then I can get my videos done earlier in the day, in the night, because it's always so late by the time I finish these. But here we go, 50 laps, no cautions. Good luck, everybody. Gavin, don't run me over right away, please. <laughs> I know he's not going to, but you right, never know. His brake could just fail right, going into turn one. <laughs> That'd be awful. But we're getting ready to take the green. Try not to wreck Hoffman here off the start. Green flag, green flag, green flag. Oh, we actually had a good jump. We're gonna get in front of Kramer, hell yeah. I'm shocked by that. Outside. Oh, Hoffman got into him. In and out. Outside only. That was sketchy, and Gavin's getting by all fault. of us on the outside. Goddamn, good run, Gavin. Inside. For you. Thank and you. Hoffman's backing off for clear. some reason. They would have cleared him on the outside. I'm shocked by that, but damn. Gavin went from 10th to goddamn 5th there on the restart. Nine, That's seven. amazing. He just had that outside. I had to check up because of the guy spinning. Because I didn't know where exactly he was going to end up at. But hell yeah, buddy, let's go. That was nuts. Try not to get the car too sideways and not wear out our right rear too much. 
He overshot the corner a little bit. He's probably gonna get a good exit. Try to stay nice and consistent here. Try not to blow our tires off the car too early. And just hit our line and watch for anybody else that's wrecked. But we're car, we're car six, sitting six currently. Mainly higher car numbers in front of us besides Gavin being car 10 in front of us. The five car is the one that got wrecked. Lap one, turn one. So he is no longer in the picture. But you do have one fast repair in this series since there are no cautions. So I would suggest turning off your fuel and windshield tear off so you can just go into the pits and take your quick repair and keep on with your day. Because you don't have any tires to change anyways. So you don't have to uncheck those, but you definitely don't want to sit there and be taking fuel when you can just get your quick repair and go in a half second. Because it will save you a ton of time. That was quite unfortunate. I thought I was going to get into the back of Hoffman as well at the same time. P1 just ran a 21.307. That's nuts. Like, Aiden up there is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure Aiden's up front still. We reel in Gavin a little, but Hoffman's slowly reeling us in behind, so that's scary. It's all about being able to get on throttle at the right time and keep your momentum on these straightaways. Because you could be a little slow through these corners. It's not a big deal. As long as you get like a good launch on the exit, it's fine. You definitely don't want to break too early. Hoffman looks like he goes in really deep into these corners. And we pull away from him on the exit. So he may be overshooting him a little bit. So we got to watch out for that in the mirror. Trying to get to Gavin here and try to put some distance between Hoffman and myself. Just so... Uh, while they're catching us, maybe they have to get by Gavin to get back to us. But Gavin and I are always so damn close in speed, like everything. Like, in everything, it's ridiculous. Like, we just had our Gen 4 career mode race at Michigan, and it was ridiculous. Like, we were way out back to start with. Then we both ended up getting in a wreck at some point. We both got right hooked down the front stretch, which is nuts. And then we still end up 1-2 at the end of it, which is absolutely crazy. But who wins and who gets second? The world may never know. You have to go check it out. Our iRacing career mode races are so much fun. I love them. We're just racing the Gen 4s at a schedule that we made. And uh, it's like the old Cup Series, like the 2004 Cup Series or something like that. It's a ton of fun. I would highly suggest going to do it yourself. Like, just go run some AI races and put, try to find, like, a difficulty that's good for you at certain tracks. It's a ton of fun. They put up some really good racing. One thing I'll suggest, though, if you do that, do it for, like, the practice and race speed. Because qualifying speed, they pick up multiple tenths. So don't worry about the qualifying speed. You'll probably qualify in the back every time. Unless you have them too low. Then you'll just be too much faster than them in the race. That's one thing we have learned with the AI in our career mode. Gavin's getting that good exit right now. He's figuring it out. But also, I feel like he's running a little too high. He's not like right on the yellow line. So I feel like he's burning up that right front with uh, where he's running. Could be wrong though. That was a good three and four by him. I got him thrown a little too early there. 21.831. That lap one turn one was nuts. I have to go see his perspective of that because that was crazy. I got to see his reaction to that too because his reaction is probably like, oh my God, I can't believe I got that many spots. <laughs> that was nuts. I can't believe we started eighth and 10th and ended up fifth, six out of uh, the like first lap. 21.81. Yeah, he's running that higher line. Don't get your tires down below that yellow line. That would not help you. That'll get you very loose. Justin's falling back to fourth. What's happened to him? I overshot that corner a lot. Bad corner by me. And all of them behind are starting to catch us. So no. There's a lot of them too. So if like one of them get under me, if like Hoffman gets under me, it's just going to be a train. I cannot allow that. Do not need that at all. We need to try to finish top five. You're a retard. Oh, no. Hey, that was my bad. 
Barry's been wrecked again. Nice. 21.87. Really seven. trying to get to the inside of Gavin here. When I hit my line right, I'm like I feel like I'm faster than Gavin, but he hits it a lot more consistent, I feel like. This guy's down the apron. Gavin went wide. The thing is, I think you can hold people off on that second lane. If you really pinch them down, I feel like you might be able to hold them down. And make it hard on life. Just need to try not to get into his uh, rear bumper and spin him out. We're running so tight. I'm trying to get close enough to him to make it for him to make a mistake. I need him to like goose it off a corner and get sideways or something. Or overshoot a corner really bad. This guy on the bottom scares me. We're good. He, he goosed it a little bit there. Not enough though. Not enough for me to get under him there on the back stretch. Oh baby. <laughs> I was right on his bumper there. That was so close. He looks a little loose into the corner there. Either that or it's just the skew of the car going in. I'm not sure. I was right on his damn bumper there. We're so far away from the top four. It's ridiculous. They're just so damn fast up there. But all four of them are like super high and high rating. Like I'm not 100% sure what car number four is, but the top three 100% are like 7K or higher. So this could be a great day for Gavin and myself on I rating here. Oh, Gavin looking a little sideways there. Trying to stick my nose underneath. Oh, wall, wall. Damn it. Hoffman, go away. We're having a battle here. I don't need it. I don't need to make it a three way. No threesomes allowed. Appreciate it, Drew. I feel like I'm a little quicker than Gavin. I'm just like too impatient and I'm goosing it and stuff. Going too wide, six, getting in the seven. wall, goosing it, getting sideways. Gavin's just been consistent, not making mistakes. Ooh, that was super wide there. Don't know if he's just trying to give us an opening or really make a egg, his exit strong there. But overall, we caught him there. Go that wide Zero, again, please. Nine, I dare you. I double dare you. Show that inside one more time. Do it again here in three. Nope. He doesn't go as wide. You got to get this car just, just enough rotated through the corner to where you're not sideways on the exit, but you still have speed and you can be on throttle. Oh, Hoffman overdrove it a little bit. That was a terrible exit by us. I got too much on the yellow line. I was too worried about Hoffman in my mirror. Cause I saw him go high. Oh, okay, I'm goosing it way too much off of four. I'm getting too much of that yellow line, I think. Just trying to hit the line perfect. And I keep getting just enough on the yellow line to where when I get on throttle, I get sideways. Even with all that, I'm still on Gavin's ass right here. I need that more straight exit like he's doing. Like not the super high line, but maybe like a little bit of a diamond mid corner. I need him to slide like I am though, damn it. And it's only lap 27. Oh my God, we're only halfway through this race. I need to take care of my tires better. Cause I've been racing like it's the last goddamn lap here for the last 10 laps on him. I'm just trying so hard to get by him. I think I need to just go in low, go in, go up a little bit and come back down low to try to get a straight exit. Do that little bit of a diamond. Like he's gonna think in his mirror, I'm gonna straight line him probably. Like with the way it looks with me diving down low. But I'm trying to like help my car not get so loose. Seven, seven. Hoffman's right on us though. I think he has Kramer right with him. He sure does. I might have to run this more this week just because I love USA. USA is so much fun to me. But I feel like it can be wreck fest if you have the wrong people. Like you just don't end up in a very high strength of field and it could be a wreck fest I feel like easily. 
people just easily losing it into a corner off a corner or just running each other over very easy to do here all three of the situations Gavin went in a little hot there 22-0 is what the leader is doing okay we're not too far off the leader pace wise right now I think Aiden's still the leader currently he is Larry is right behind him speaking of pace Now that I've like slowed up my exits a little bit to where I'm not sliding everywhere, I think we've uh, saved them a little bit, which is nice. That was a two, not as good. Saw some rubber kicking up there off the back of Gavin's car. Dang it, too high there on entry. Might have a decent exit though. Gotta walk it all the way out to the wall without slapping it. Try to carry as much momentum and speed as you can. That was another two. I want to get back down to the one at least. Trying to do my little bit of a diamond there. It's very sketchy on entry when I'm like almost into the side of Gavin, it looks like. But it might be making him react in a different way than uh, he wants to. For the corner i look like i slowed up pop in mid corner there doing my thing oh don't overshoot it bad definitely locked up the brakes a little bit there i screwed that corner up because i thought i was gonna hit gavin with my line man if i can just get under him i want to see what i can do just want to see what could happen if we get under him like can we actually get by him or is he gonna be able to pinch us down enough to where I can't get a run off the exit? I don't know. That's what I wanna figure out. How much side-by-side -side racing can we get? Got 15 laps left to find out. But we're just so goddamn similar. It's ridiculous. But he's more consistent and not screw it up as much. I'm gonna try to focus here. I may not talk as much if I get under him. Because I don't want to wreck both of us. That would be hilarious and unfortunate. Because these things cannot take a bump, especially at a short track. At Super Speedway, you could barely tap, but you have to be going just about the same exact speed. You can't, like, run up on somebody and hit them like a gen, like a next gen car and stuff like that. So these things just cannot take a bump in the rear. You gotta be super careful with it. The nose just does not line up with the bumper. It goes straight under it. And that's why the five car spun out turn one when he got bumped. Just cause it's so easy to spin somebody out if you get into them. Dang, I got on throttle a little early there. I needed to wait like another half second or something. So I had to wait to get fully on throttle. That was a good exit. A little sideways, but not as bad. We didn't have to slow up. Come on, Gavin, make a damn mistake. I'll make him make a mistake. <laughs> All right, let's not put that into the universe, actually. Oh, what a run we had there. That was a great run. He's protecting the bottom hard. That's the first time he's ran like right along that yellow line the entire corner. He's starting to do it in three and four as well. Oh, sideways. Had to let off there. So hard to uh, save these cars as well. It's so easy to spin them out when you get sideways. Let's not heat up the tires too much again. Don't do that all over again. But man, when we're all the same speed, it's hard to pass. But this is short track racing, baby. He's still doing 22 ones? Damn. Like, we're a couple tenths off now. That's crazy. I wonder if we could be the same pace as him if it wasn't stuck behind Gavin. Not really stuck, we're running the same damn speed.
but as a quote Gavin would say I'm fucking vibrating <laughs> like you're putting out all this energy not moving in this sim like race then you're fucking vibrated hopefully he enjoys that quote <laughs> Because we are fighting goddamn hard here. What a freaking battle. And Hoffman's been right on us for the entire damn time, too. So is Kramer. They've all been, like, right on us behind. There's just nowhere for any of us to go. I've gotten, like, one or two runs on Gavin where I could, like, throw it in deep under him, but it just was not worth it. He ran a little high, but he's going to get a good exit probably. And we get sideways. God damn it. That would have been our opportunity right there if I would have gotten under him. 100% would have been our opportunity there. Need to catch back up to him. Five laps left. Start making some bold moves. Pushing it harder and harder. We got nothing to lose at this point besides more spots, but... It's more important to gain this one than lose some to me. Just because it's Gavin. Oh, we're sideways. I had a really weight on the throttle there. I felt the car like snap loose mid corner when we got on it. Oh, lost it there. Damn it. I'm just shocked, Hoffman. Every time I make a mistake, he's too far back to make a ground on us to do something about it because i he easily should have been like under us and past us or something but he might be doing the same mistakes behind me and that's why he ends up further back i don't know but hell of a race this has been we got two laps left to try to catch this guy this fucking guy make a mistake for once in your life gavin damn holy hell He's just Mr. Consistent up here. In the middle. Absolutely crazy race this has been. If he were to make a mistake on this final lap, it'd be huge. I'm gonna try to send it in a little deep. Fireworks are already going off. Good race. Inside. Give him a bump. Good race. Impressive one for Oh my god, Gavin, I'm fucking vibrating. <laughs> that was great. What a fantastic race. Jesus. Yeah, that was a hell of a battle we all had. That was nuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm about in tears, boys. That was some beautiful stuff right there. Great race, Austin. That I tried was to amazing. give him the bump and run. I tried to give you the slightest bump and run there on the, off of four to loosen you up. You didn't make any mistakes that entire damn time. <laughs> oh my god that was awesome absolutely phenomenal there i don't know if he's gonna do a burnout or not he might he might do a burnout i'm waiting for it that was awesome though that was fucking awesome that freaking battle we had the entire race uh 87 90 89 91 89 where's the slash 91 stretch Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> that was a fantastic race, man. Holy crap. Like, I tried giving him the slightest bump here off turn four, getting in the gas hard. How, like, I know I bumped him, I think the slightest bit there, I want to say. Let's go far chase. I think I barely tapped him in the rear trying to get him loose, and he saved it perfectly. Like, I need to go to his in-car and see how that was for him, just give him the little bump. Like, I don't know if he was expecting it or not. Oh, yep, yeah, it just straightened him out the slightest bit, and he had to, uh, get on his tires there, like, uh, save it. Oh, my God, though. We were on his ass the entire race. Like, I would keep making mistakes and get right back to his bumper the entire time. We were this length from him every single lap. It was crazy. But let's go back to lap one, see this wreck, and Gavin go by us all on the outside. Holy hell. Like, that was fantastic short track racing. and that's exactly how you do it right there. I thought I was going to wreck Hoffman because we had to check up the slightest bit 
right there. We had to check out the slightest bit, and that's why Gavin just rolled the outside, man. If we would have stayed outside, we would have been in front of all that. And instead, I jumped in front of Kramer there off the start because obviously I would have expected the uh, bottom to be faster. We just had an amazing start there, which was awesome. And he just barely tapped him there, which is unfortunate. Barely tapped Barry. Gavin goes by on the outside. But holy hell, that was a awesome damn race. Very awesome race there. The five went around. Did anybody hit him? Nope, everybody kept it clean. Ooh, what happened there? The 33 is going around. Oh, I think he like checked up. Oh yeah, he checked up and I don't, the nine was not expecting that by any means. So that makes sense. I wouldn't have expected the dude to check up there. 41 ran over Joe there on the exit of four. Massive wreck. Holy crap. That was like half the field in the back. Literally, that was like straight after uh, Hoffman or something. That's crazy. Or Kramer up there. Like that was most of the field. 19 losing it off turn four. We almost did that multiple times. 18 going to dive it off in the turn, turn three into the quarter panel of seven. Move them up. Very close racing, but definitely could have been avoided. 17 dives it off in, gets the wall. Who ended up winning the race? Aiden? Aiden won the race? Yeah, Aiden won the race. Larry was a second back from him, but geez, we were 11 seconds back from Aiden. He was so damn fast the entire time. That was crazy, and that's all of the incidents. Holy crap, that's crazy, but that was a fantastic race, Gavin and myself. Hoffman, Kramer was there for a long time, and so was Jordan for the most part, but like us three were right on top of each other the whole damn race. Like, uh, Hoffman kept getting in my bumper every time and then I think he'd make a mistake like I made a mistake on Gavin's bumper the entire time but that was freaking awesome gave Gavin a little bump here hopefully uh hopefully uh he, he was okay with it <laughs> we had an awesome race but let's go see what we end up getting out of the results results are in hell yeah boys we got over 3,800 again that's awesome very happy about that Excuse me. Strength of field was 3,700. Not the highest, but a pretty good strength of field for uh, us being car number six. That's crazy. Like, Aiden definitely much higher. Than us. I thought he was way up there, but oh, he was car four. I thought he was like car three. But uh, ten, Colton Tyndall, very high up there. Almost 6K. Larry over eight, almost eight and a half. Justin's almost seven and a half. Crazy freaking race. We gained 50. Gavin gets a good solid 65 over 36 for him. Hoffman got a good 47, but holy hell, what a race. That was fantastic that's like the that's how you do short track racing like we didn't touch once that entire damn time beside that last corner where i tried to bump him out the way i didn't want to wreck him because that would have just been unnecessary but i wanted to give him that slight bump to try to make him wiggle and maybe we could get by him going to the line that would have been awesome but uh that was how you do short track racing yeah we may have been like 11 seconds off the leader but we were having the best racing on the track by far because they you could see like these guys were a little bit further away from each other Justin and uh, Colton were pretty close, but Gavin, myself, and Hoffman were all over each other the entire race, so that was fantastic. Go watch Gavin's perspective of that. Just look up Gavin Robchan. Watch his perspective. It's awesome, for sure. He's got to be sweating bullets that entire time, I imagine. He didn't make one single mistake that entire race, and that's exactly why he stayed in front of us. I was waiting for him to spin his tires off a corner one time, like we did multiple times, and uh, just to be able to get under him. But man, he didn't make one single mistake. That was fantastic racing. So I'm going to go talk to him about that race. That was awesome. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did in that race. That was amazing. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.